Well, Hans is a ruggedly handsome dog with a spotted coat and bushy tail. Ski, tell us about this Queensland healer. Well, Hans is two years old. He's very, very active. He's part of our project outreach. He came to us from a animal shelter in Pinal County. Um, they were unable to have the space for him, so we took him. And now he wants to show you how much he can play. He's very, very active, very loving, very, very smart. He is housebroken, which is good. Um, he's going to be a great uh, pet for someone who's got an active family, maybe some older kids. Um, these dogs generally like water, so if you have a pool, he'll definitely keep himself occupied during the day or playing ball with you out there to cool off during the summer days. But this little guy here is um, available and definitely looking to get into a home and start showing somebody what kind of uh, perfect pet he can be. They are brilliant dogs, brilliantly smart. Thanks, Pip. But thanks, Ski. Now, in an effort to reduce the pet overpopulation in our community, the Arizona Humane Society offers low-cost spay and neuter services throughout the entire year. But on Thursday, April 18th, those services will be free. Check-in time is at 6 a.m., but space is limited, so please arrive early. You can get more information about its hip to snip by visiting azhumane.org. Well, Spencer has an abundance of energy that explodes the moment you come home from work. Lisa, this scruffy pooch needs someone who can keep up with his brisk outlook on life. He's enjoying a treat right now. <laughs> but he is one of the 11,000 calls that our EAMTs respond to yearly. Uh, he was witnessed hit by a car, and our EAMTs are specially trained medics that went out and treated him in the field. He was barely able to breathe when they found him, and you'll see he's kind of shaved here on his side, but um, he's got a few more scabs left, but he is spunky, all healed up, good to go now. He's one year old, he is neutered, and he thanks our EAMTs for saving him that day. And any family that comes down to adopt him will do the same, because I will tell you, he is grateful for his life every day, He's playful, he's very human-oriented, chases you around the backyard, spunky. He's got the little body of a Shih Tzu, but a little more terrier-ish fur, so he's not going to be too bad of a grooming responsibility. Just run a brush or comb through him, and he will be your best friend for life. I don't think his tail has stopped <laughs> wagging since he got on camera. There are many great family dogs like Spencer at the Arizona Humane Society, and Zippo was the perfect addition to the Cox family, who wanted a very specific first family dog. Zippo was already house trained. He was excellent with their kids, and the Cox family said they couldn't have asked for a better dog than Zippo, but there are plenty others at the Arizona Humane Society. Well, ask anyone at our shelter, and they will tell you that Millie is absolutely the best American bulldog. Perry, everyone just adores her. Everybody does, Carrie. Everybody knows Millie. She is a staff favorite for good reason. She's just a gentle giant. For as strong as she is, she walks very, very nicely on leash. She's extremely mellow, and she's extremely smart. Millie, you sit. You shake for me. Very good. She's just a smart girl, too. She's got it all. If you would like your dog to be trained like Millie, why don't you consider the uh, Arizona Humane Society dog training classes that we now have. We've gotten that question over the years. Do you have training? We do now. If you are interested, go to our website, azhumane.org, and look at the Our Services tab. They are not only very, very effective, they're very, very affordable. Your dog, too, can be just like the gorgeous Millie here. She is absolutely perfect, Perry, and she is part of our Hopeful Hearts Club, so just $50 to take Miss Millie home. Here are a few Hopeful Hearts pets at our shelter who have been overlooked. Um, you can see all of the pets that are part of the Hopeful Hearts Club by visiting the Featured Pets page on our website, azhumane.org. We'll stay tuned. When we come back, meet McKenna, the survivor, and hear about a dog who was reunited with her owner thanks to a microchip when we come back.